regarded are divided into classifications. The educable, the trainable, and the custodial. Obviously, we can only assess the abilities or potential of the mentally retarded on an individual basis. Seemingly random motions and movements are fairly common among the custodial retarded, and they may take many forms. Sometimes there are motions which seem to have no meaning whatever, and may even cause unintentional self-inflicted injuries. The vast majority of the mentally retarded are intelligent enough that they can be taught a great many things. However, there's a wide range of ability even among those considered educable. And their ability to learn obviously varies according to their level of intelligence. Equally important is a stimulating environment. However, we must remember to set realistic standards that are not too high for the individual. Many of the trainable retarded can learn to take certain kinds of household responsibilities, some of which may be more complex than they are usually given credit for. It would be wrong to expect a mentally retarded person to become a master craftsman. The standards are too high. But even in the skilled trades, for example, the mentally retarded can be trained to become valuable assistants. Who are the mentally retarded? They are people. They come in both sexes and in all sizes, shapes, creeds, and colors. Wherever people live, there also live the mentally retarded.